Hey Cancer, welcome to Soul Vibin. Back with another tarot reading for you. This is going to be your love reading for January 2022. We're going to take a look at your person of interest, your romantic interest, and we're going to see what's happening in between you and this person. All right, this is anybody who you may be interested in, who you may have a spark with, or we're just going to figure out if you had a spark with this person, whoever you're thinking about. So we're going to definitely tap in to see if you had a spark with them. If there's a genuine reason for no contact, and should you be patient with this connection? Should you make the first move um, to talk to them again? And what keeps you from getting in touch with this person? As well as other questions that we'll be answering. All right, so there's definitely a huge energy upgrade that you're going through. Definitely at a crossroads, I feel like, at the moment. So you're like in between... Um, fully transforming into who you're meant to be and coming into the people who you're meant to meet and all that stuff all right wow so love and family showing up here all right definitely someone has their eye on you babe okay this is someone close to you someone in your community um this may be someone even in your um family circle all right like this can be just fam you know like you see them as fam or something like that but with love i feel like there's potential for more um, now, there's definitely love coming your way, all right? For some of you, um, you will have a family with this person or you do have a family with this person. Wow. But love is in the air. Is what <laughs> Love is in the air is what I'm getting, all right? I feel like you're a leader here with the wolf, wolf spirit. Wolves are all about, you know, leading the pack. You may be leading, um, maybe you're leading someone on. Are you leading someone on? But that can just be the case for some of you. I don't know what this is though. Well, this person maybe just feels like you're leading them on. Let's see. I don't feel like that's what you're doing. Let's see. Okay, is there a spark with a spark when it comes to cancer? You're at a crossroads though. I feel like you, there's a need to make a huge shift or decision in your life. And I don't feel like this is an easy decision because it almost feels like you're stuck, but you're about to make the best decision in your life, to be honest. And it's going to attract the right person to you. Mm -hmm. Someone who sees a family. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so there is there is um, a spark in between on this person, but there's a need to have to, you know, get on the same page. Because I feel like someone in this connection feels like they're not, like you're not putting in enough work or, you know, they may not be putting in enough work, whatever the case is. I feel like this is how they feel. And so there's some sense of self-sabotaging. So like they may be putting an end to the relationship because they feel like there wasn't uh, equal give and take in this connection. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if there is a situation like this happening around you, I, I do feel like there's a sense to mend, mend things with this person. But um, let's keep going. So there is there is a spark, right? There is, but the thing is, I don't see a spark here. I just I just feel like this is more like um someone who you're dealing with, and in the current moment, like you may already have a family with this person. This may be your baby father, your baby mama, something like that, or just maybe like a past girlfriend or boyfriend that you were dealing with. Uh, let's see let's see what this is about or you may just be like talking to this person and then it's like they leave and then they come back it's like hot and cold but it's not even hot it's more like you're just trying to find some sense of balance in this connection and, and it feels just a little bit difficult to do because communication is off they may feel like you're not expressing yourself but you may feel this is like stringing along right you may feel that way they may feel that way put the energy where it resonates so let's see genuine reason for no contact is there a genuine reason for no contact no i feel like that i feel like they're just like the reason that you guys may not be in contact or open with each other at the moment is simply because like there's insecurities that things may repeat themselves um there's also insecurities that you you feel like you need to protect yourself um there's also insecurities like self-conscious issues as well that may just be getting in the way of like getting this relationship to fully work and fully come together full circle because the family i'm seeing it as a ten of cups like you guys can pot potentially have this but there's a sense that like maybe someone already has their guard up because um you know there was just no equal give and take in this connection so this is why they left they left because there was no equal 
communication and they feel they felt like you were breadcrumbing them like you weren't doing enough in the connection for this person or some someone may have just not been enough for you and this is the way they felt they were like you know what uh, obviously i'm not enough for them i'm just gonna go ahead and walk away that's the type of energy i'm getting nine of wands is here though this person does have their guard up now okay so ace of cups so there's a need to be open and honest about how you feel i do feel like there's there's a sense that you could trust this person okay with the page of coins there's good news and for some of you the good news is the fact that there is a new love coming your way so let's see you know should you make the first move to talk to this person again whoever cancer is dealing with because the nine of wands almost feels like an ending right it feels like something's almost ended and then the nine of wands so this person may have a new love a new love interest here the nine of wands is also someone who kind of like takes action towards what they want they're very inspired and they they basically just go after what they set their mind to or what they feel attracted to right the this um wolf spirit is this nine of wands so if you're a leo aries or sagittarius this is this is the wolf spirit okay because i'm seeing this person like the wolf stalks right the wolf kind of checks things out before they actually take action towards it so i feel like this person this nine of wands maybe maybe just kind of keeping an eye on things to see how things go before they um take action but i also feel like there's a lot of teasing happening uh, let's see the nine of wands Hmm. should you make the first move to talk to them again i would say yes okay with the nine of wands it's definitely about taking action so even if you don't have aries leo or sagittarius in your chart i feel like if you associate with this wolf energy or a masculine energy then there's a need to take action in this connection to do what you need to do to bring balance into that connection if it is that you're attracted to this person then make it known but let's go ahead and see what keeps you from getting in touch with this person or from being open and honest with each other. Obviously, we know there's a wall up because of past issues or problems. You know, a lot of problems in the relationship. I'm seeing a lot of problems, a lot of in imbalance in this connection. And I feel like you know this, Cancer. What's keeping you guys um, from coming together is um, inner reflection. I feel like there's a need to inner reflect on what has happened in this connection. And what's happening i do feel like someone here is going through a spiritual awakening or someone here just needs to take some time out to figure out what they really want and i feel like that may be the person who has their guard up the most it may be both of you guys that have your guard up but there's a need to um there's a need to find clarity with the king of swords here but some of you are dealing with a virgo or i'm getting king of swords to me as an aquarius but i mean you guys can be any sign right all right hold on let me just go ahead and see what okay so what's keeping you guys from coming together is a need to um inner reflect on what has happened in your guys' connection but let's see what is the worst thing that can happen if they reject you like will this person reject cancer i guess that's the i guess that's the main energy i'm picking up on but let's see what comes out the three of wands this person is looking um elsewhere for maybe answers um or you are um and if that's not the case then the worst thing that can happen in this re rejection maybe is that you get to look out for something more for something new for something different right because this is all about going on an adventure and seeking for something or someone who's gonna you know be more compatible with you if this person wasn't compatible with you but here is the four of cups so i feel like this is crossing this one which means if they reject you i mean it is just gonna be something that you're gonna be missing for a while and maybe there's just some distance that needs to be created in between both of you to see if they can uh, to see if you both can reignite the spark um i do feel like maybe some of you may be taking a trip or just going somewhere or just distancing yourself for a while to figure out what it is that you want in this connection i'm very you know i'm, I'm a little bit disappointed about how this reading is going only because like it felt like it was gonna go somewhere else but let me go ahead and keep you know going to see what what's happening so let's see so what's the best outcome 
you know, if you reach out to them, if you talk to them, if you um, try to talk things out with this person. Because I, I do get a sense like this person is waiting for you to take action. All right, that's for some of you as well. Like this person is waiting for you to take action, especially if you're Virgo, Virgo or fire sign here. Um, this person is waiting for you to take action. Like they, they miss you. They're missing you. They're yearning. They're wanting you, right? But it almost feels like it's just going nowhere because like, it, yeah, I don't know. But let's see. Best of outcome. Um, I mean, the best outcome in this connection I'm, I need water. My voice is like, my throat is hurting. Mm. All right. What's the best outcome in this connection for cancer? Oh. The best outcome? Oh. The best outcome the best outcome is for you to stay focused on your goals in your career and try to like um try to find some balance when it comes to your career a money situation and your home and family life that's for some of you for others of you your best outcome would be like i don't even see a best outcome I just feel like there's just a sense, um, a need to heal, a need to spend time alone, a need to um, go through the emotions and avoid arguments as much as you can. So maybe this is why someone needs to distance themselves for a while to just figure out what it is that they really want, right? Because I do feel like someone here may be um, still going through um, an intense emotional heartbreak. Um, maybe this, Maybe this is other people that were involved in this connection maybe there was a third party or someone got caught in a third party and and there's just a sense to have to heal and maybe th this person has never really had time to themselves this knight of wands or this fire sign maybe has never had time to themselves to figure themselves out and this is something that they're learning to do they're learning to figure out what they want they're learning to heal on their own and this is why they're spending a lot of um alone time and maybe this is why they're coming off as standoffish or kind of just like self-sabotaging the connection for the moment and putting a wall up because someone here also isn't being really honest um about how they feel but that's for for others of you right that doesn't have to be for everybody but with the five of wands there most definitely was other people involved in the connection and this is kind of what made the connection fall apart to begin with so i don't know if there'll be a recon reconciling of this but it's definitely worth to keep looking into. So let's see. We're going to get, will you meet them again? And is this going to be a short-term or a long-term romance? Will you meet them again? Mm. Hold on, okay. I really need a shuffle gun. So... Okay. Will you meet them again? Cancer, will you meet them again? Mm, the tower. So by what I mean, will you meet them again? I mean, like, will you guys come back together again? Will there be a reconciliation? The tower has come out. So maybe this is someone who you um, might not even want to get back together with. And if you do want to get back together with this person, then maybe there's just the need to spend some time alone to see if there's anybody else out there that you might be interested in. Because I feel like maybe this person or you are both wanting to, like, spend some time alone and just maybe avoid drama um, at the moment. All right um yeah the tower is here though so i feel like maybe things are falling apart for um for the better of what's to come so let's see what is um the short is this going to be a short-term romance long-term romance or what's happening the sun card 
um, the Sun card to me is a card of freedom in this connection because the tower is release, right? And then the Sun is freedom. So I feel like set yourself free. Um, I feel like maybe this person is setting you free so you explore your options and so you figure out what it is that you want because there's a sense that I'm getting that maybe in the past you could have been a little bit uninterested in this person. And so this person kind of set you free to for you to explore your options and for you to realize like what they were actually worth because I'm seeing a big sun here. So you may be dealing with a, a Leo. So this person may be setting you free. So like you figure out what it is that you want because there, there seems to be other people in the connection. And so there being other people, um, this person is the sun. This person is like very, um, they know what they want and they're, they're very bright and very beautiful or very handsome. But at the end of the day, it's like, you're gonna go um go ahead and go explore your options that's the vibe i'm getting the page of cups but there's good news coming okay i do feel like you're gonna find a new romantic interest very soon with the page of cups here or you may already have a new romantic interest so what's the good news coming towards cancer or i maybe i i feel like cancer i feel like you're seeing this as good news <laughs> to be honest with you i feel like you may be seeing this as good news like because you're, you're staying positive about the situation, I feel like. And you're learning to accept things for what they are. So, let's see. Yeah, it's like you're looking at things from a different perspective. Trying to stay positive about what's to happen. And, um, yeah. So, the Five of Cups at the back. So, the Page of Wands. Like, you're hoping for a reconciliation with this person, right? You feel like you can do it. You're very confident. And then the, the High Priestess. Your intuition is telling you something. Um, I feel like at the end of the day, um, you're gonna you're gonna learn to set boundaries and learn to figure out what it is that you want from relationships in general. And I feel like there's good and bad for for like you guys. And I really can't pinpoint on what's to come, but I feel like there's a lot of different and a lot of different and exciting news coming your way when it comes to. Um, a new really a new relationship or even just this relationship i feel like at the end of the day you're gonna feel good about it with the high priestess here and um you're gonna get a new chance to like do something different yeah like do something different or do something the way you wanted to do things does that make sense because almost it almost feels like maybe um something was unbalanced the high priestess here or there was high expectations yeah very high expectations that someone was having here but it's like someone here is learning to take things a little bit more lightheartedly and um you know more open being more open and free and realizing that things don't have to be as serious right because there is a sense that someone was being a little bit too serious in this connection and so this is a whole different energy i'm tapping into i could tell but um this person that was taking the, this high priestess, she may be a tarot reader, he may be a tarot reader, he may be very intuitive, very psychic, but this may be you, Cancer. Someone here was taking something a little bit too serious. And so this is why like things happened the way they did. When it realistically, it wasn't even that serious. Okay. So that is all I have for you, Cancer. Thank you so much for tuning into this reading. I wish you nothing but love and abundance. I will catch you guys next time or any other signs. Bye for now.